All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, I'd like to share five tips for organizations new to federal grants. Uh, these are in no particular order, and this is by no means a definitive list. Uh, everyone in this field has a different idea about what's important. You know, you, you ask 10 grants professionals their opinions, and you're going to get some variety. Uh, so take my list and mash it up with a few other consultants, and you'll be in pretty good shape. All right, let's, uh, let's roll. First, your organization needs to be registered with the System for Award Management uh, at SAM.gov. I've put the links down at the bottom there. They're not clickable links, but well, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, SAM.gov and Grants.gov before you can submit a federal grant application. If you wait until the last minute to register, you'll be in bad shape. You know, sometimes the process can take two weeks or more. You know, it's not like registering with an online store where you, you pick a user ID and a password and off you go. It's a little more involved. Uh, you know, first off, the <clears throat> excuse me, the forms you need to complete uh, on SAM aren't necessarily complicated, but there are a bunch of them, and they're time consuming. You know, after you complete the forms and submit your registration, the next part of the process involves the SAM database communicating with other federal agencies to verify your organization's identity and to establish your credentials. If there's a hiccup, you know, anywhere in this process, you have to correct the issues and resubmit your registration. And just to make things really interesting, you also need to submit a notarized letter to officially appoint your organization's administrator. Yeah, a hard copy letter you need to mail to a federal office. So that, along with everything else, you can see there's a bunch of moving parts in the registration process. And that's why it's so important to register as early as possible. Even if you don't plan on applying for federal grants for a while, it doesn't hurt to register with SAM and Grants.gov. Just get it out of the way and you'll be ready to roll when the time comes. Now, with Grants.gov, uh, the registration process uh, is a little easier, and they have a really good tutorial on how to complete the process. So I would encourage you to go to grants.gov. They'll walk you through it. Very simple. And I'm going to use a phrase I don't like to use very often, but easy peasy. Okay. Got that out of my system. Next, make sure you're ready for the grants process from top to bottom, starting with a committed board of directors to a good accounting system and strong internal controls over expenses or checks and balances, if you prefer, uh, and written policies and procedures outlining how federal grants will be handled once you receive them. You know, managing federal grants is a different animal than other funding sources, so you want to have your organizational procedures and systems aligned with the feds before jumping into the deep end. <clears throat> and another thing, you know, before any organization can receive a grant now, um, funding agencies conduct a pre-award capacity review to verify a successful applicant has the capacity to manage the grant. Uh, if there are any serious deficiencies, the agency will just simply pull the tentative award and move on to the next highest scoring application. So this really emphasizes the need to have your system squared away before applying. Third, assuming your organization is good to go, how about your people? I, I recommend assign one person in the organization to be the lead on all things federal grants and get them trained up. If you already have you know, private grants or state grants, 
make sure this person is high enough on the organizational chart to be familiar with how other funds are managed so she or he can spot the differences between your current procedures and the federal requirements. You know, like I said earlier, federal grants have a unique set of rules and you might need to tweak your policies and procedures just a little bit to get on the same page as the federal government. <clears throat> and you know, that sounds more daunting than it really is. If you already have a good set of policies and procedures, I'll bet it's already 90% where you need to be. Uh, most federal grant management regs, <clears throat> excuse me, um, defer to an organization's existing uh, written procedures. Uh, but there are a few areas, like uh, purchasing comes to mind, where a couple changes might be necessary. What you don't want to do is say, you know, just, you know, let Jim handle federal grants. He dealt with a county grant once. That's good enough. You know, and then turn them loose with no training. Uh, that's when bad things happen. What works for other grants doesn't always translate over to federal grants. That's where you need to be cautious. Fourth, visit a few federal websites and download successful proposals from previous cycles of the grants that interest you. See how they formatted their proposals, how they responded to the, to the questions, and how they addressed the department's priorities, what types of tables and graphs and illustrations they used. Did they use footnotes or not? Just look at every detail to see what you can learn. You know, there's no crime or shame, as a matter of fact, you know, looking at other people's work. Uh, don't plagiarize, though. That's obviously not cool. I would suggest looking at the most recent funding cycle of, you know, whatever grant uh, catches your eye. Priorities change every couple of years. So if you go too far back, the proposals you read might not reflect the department's current focus and won't be as useful to you. And fifth, don't apply for every federal grant that comes along that might be, you know, remotely connected to your mission. Square peg, round hole syndrome. Either a grant is a good fit for your current programs and initiatives, or it's not. You know, don't force it and don't radically change your services or your focus just to accommodate a grant, please. You know, chasing dollars like that, it's a hassle. And think of the time commitment, too. If you're going to invest the time applying for federal grants, you want to go after the ones where you have a reasonable chance of being successful or, at the very least, highly competitive. And as a bonus tip, just go for it. Assuming you have all the boxes checked from my other five tips, pick out a federal grant and apply for it. See how it goes. See how much time it takes. What were the biggest hurdles and headaches? You know, what was the most confusing part of it all? Now, this sounds a little contradictory to the last slide when I said be strategic, but if you're brand new and never done this before, the best way to learn is by doing. Even if you assume that you won't be funded, still give it 100% effort because afterwards you'll get your scores and the reviewer's comments, and those will help you out a lot the next time around. Once it's all done, you know, and you have the feedback, then you can decide, okay, I can do this. Uh, I just need to change up a few things next time. Or you'll decide, Hell no, I ain't doing that again. No way, I need some help. Either way, you'll win because now you have the experience. You know, there's no substitute for trying and tasting new things. Just, just go for it. Well, that's it. 
that's all I have, short and sweet. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please email me through my website or reach out on social media. I am here to help. I'm glad to answer any questions you might have. If you found this useful, like it or give it a thumbs up. And feel free to leave a comment. I love the feedback. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future presentations. Thanks. I'll see you next time.